So, here we go, question four. Question four is a graphing question. Um, we're looking at osmosis in this one of potato cylinders. Now, the thing to remember about osmosis is that osmosis is the movement of water from a solution with low concentration into a solution of high concentration through a membrane. Now, in this case, what we're talking about is the movement of water into the potatoes or out of the potatoes. The graph has been partially drawn for you. And the first question is simply, can you add points to the graph in the right places? Now, if you look carefully at the graph, you'll see that as the concentration goes up like this, the points come down here from plus six, which is this one, plus three, which is this one, plus one, which is this one, minus one, which is this one. So then for 80, we need to plot minus four. So from 80, we go down to minus four and we put our cross here. And then the last one is 100 and minus six. So we bring it down to here. There are two marks for each of those crosses plotted in the right place and a straight line of best fit drawn through the points. So one mark for the points correctly plotted and one mark for a straight line of best fit. The next question then asks you to explain exactly what's going on in the experiment. Now I'm gonna leave the graph in view there because we need to refer back to our graph in the question. Just get that in there. So. What is the concentration inside the potato cells at the start of the experiment? Justify your answer. And again, what we need to understand here is what's happening in terms of osmosis. When the percentage change in length of the potato is positive, that means that the potato is getting bigger, which means that water must be moving into the potato from the outside. That tells us that at this stage, the concentration on the outside of the potato, 20 or 40, must be lower than the concentration inside the potato. Once it gets past a certain concentration, however, we find that the water, instead of going into the potato, is now coming out of the potato, which means that the concentration here must be higher inside, uh, outside the potato than it is inside the potato. The way that we determine what the concentration actually is in the potato is by drawing a line of best fit through these points, which you've already done, and where the line of best fit crosses the zero mark, here is what we should get. Now, they will give you the marks for as long as your line of best fit crosses where you've said. So it says, take the result from the graph. So wherever you drew your line of best fit, where it crosses this zero line is the concentration of sugar in the potato. Finally, Question 2C, explain how Karen could improve her experiment to increase her confidence in the conclusion. This is the sort of thing that you've just been doing loads of in your controlled assessment. We're looking at how could we improve, and there are lots of different possibilities. Um, you could either look at improving the reproducibility or the repeatability of the experiment and explaining how, or just any two improvements will do. So repeat the experiment, use more different cylinders of potato, use cylinders from the same potato instead of from different potatoes to help make it more of a fair test. Use more different concentrations so that you can see more of an effect or take the average of multiple results. Again, all these things would lead to improvements in the experimental design. And you don't need all of them, you just need any two of those to get the marks.